This is an INN News Brief with Scott Perrietti and Jules Hartley. Hello, I'm Scott Perrietti. And I'm Jules Hartley. And here's what's trending in news. A California woman faces up to six years in prison after admitting that she broke windows and left bacon inside a mosque near Sacramento. The woman said she was expressing her beef through pork. Cardinals in Vatican City last week protested the opening of a McDonald's one block from St. Peter's Square. However, the protests stopped once the Cardinals learned that most McDonald's employees are teenage boys. I used to work at McDonald's. When you were a teenage boy? When I was a teenage boy. Go figure. Yeah, a lot of Cardinals came in there. 68 pounds of cocaine was found in a JetBlue flight attendant's bags at LAX on Friday. The captain got suspicious after the in-flight beverage service was completed four minutes after takeoff. The Education Minister of Canada announced Thursday that Ontario plans to launch a curriculum to teach high school students financial skills. She says this will help them to survive if they ever decide to become teachers. I did not decide to become a teacher. I decided to become an actress instead. Wow. Then you really need to learn financial skills. Hmm. A new study by PricewaterhouseCoopers says that robots could take over 38% of U.S. jobs within 15 years. On the upside, a lot of new jobs will be created in the robot-making field. Wait, wouldn't they have robots making robots? Like, a robot... Right? Don't overthink it. Or you'll be replaced with a robot. Yeah, they, they think better than I do, probably. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration on Friday issued a final rule banning powdered medical gloves beginning later this year. Turn your head and cough will now be a much more intimate experience for male patients. Walmart announced Thursday that they have plans to begin selling cars. The retail giant's fleet will consist of the Mainstay sedan, the Equate Hybrid, and the Great Value Coupe. In a related story, Chrysler has just unveiled a concept car geared towards millennials that comes with a built-in selfie-taking camera. Introducing the Chrysler Overshare. Over the past year, comedy legend Eddie Murphy has been working on a script <coughs> for the sequel to Coming to America. <coughs> Sorry, as well. <coughs> Bring in the robot. Over the past year, comedy legend Eddie Murphy has been working on a script for the sequel to Coming to America. However, after Trump was elected, Murphy was forced to make a few minor changes to the plot. The film will now be called Coming to South America. Caitlyn Jenner's new autobiography, The Secrets of My Life, was released this week. Jenner said that while she's happy with the book overall, there are still some parts of it she doesn't like that she may go back later and cut. And that's what's trending in news. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs> Oh wow. <coughs> Jeez Louise. Cut, cut, cut. Everybody cut.